Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Here we have Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. And yeah, there's a. What? What is that? Is that a lowrider S? Is that my lowrider? I mean, no, it's not my lowrider S. Why don't you? You, you can tell everybody what it is. 2022 lowrider S. Gunship Gray. And yeah, there's a reason why I got it. Before we dive into how you ended up with this bike, because we all know that you have a street glide, you had an A train, had an A train, uh, your Pan America had a Pan America, mm -hmm. um, and now your Lowrider S. Before we get into that whole story, how you ended up with this bike and what happened to your bike, because if you guys watch, for those of you who guys watch my videos week after week, you guys saw what happened in the group ride, and yeah, we'll get into that. But after all these years of you talking shit about my bike, three years going on now, you talking shit up, talking mad smack about my it's bike. It's a love hate relationship. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you, you talk so much shit about my bike, dude. Well, they fixed everything that that was the problem. True. They really did. The shock, the gauges. I hated looking down at the gauges. Yeah. 114. When we kept saying it should have been a 117 all along. Facts. And the, um, and, and, and yeah, the gauge relocation, the 117, and what else did they, and the shock. You saw the shock. And what else did they fix? That's, uh, I think about that's it. about it. That's about it. The gauge on the front yeah. of it. That's nothing else. The gauge is in a great location. Be I love the I gauge. I mean, be besides the shock, I mean, your, 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 your biggest pet peeve with my bike was that you felt really cramped on it. Yes. Um, but, I mean, that's nothing that they fixed with this bike. It's still the same seat of precision. What it is is straight out. It's the seat. You have to change the seat. Stock seat sucks. His step up was too close. The Saddleman. Yeah, Saddleman step up was too close. The Lapera is way better. Yeah, I even said that on video that it was better to ride your bike now. I felt like I had more room. And then I have a Saddleman Explorer, which gives me room too. Yeah. Not, not a fan of the Saddleman Explorer. No. Look. But if you're gonna I, ride I, somebody. I, I just sat on it right now. I got to say, I'm like, whoa, this thing is pretty comfortable. Not a, not my cup of tea. I, I don't like it. I, it is what it is. I don't yeah, like I mean, it. I, it, I got the, the diamond stitch in the front, so it looks like a step up in the front, but the back is wider for a passenger because obviously yeah. I ride my wife. I mean, for, for uh, if you're gonna ride a passenger, and you know, obviously, yes. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing cross country touring on it, but for me, I use it as a daily commuter. Because my daily commuter blew up. No, it's 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 comfortable. It's really really comfortable. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. So obviously, since the bike came out, you you you've been a your your love and hate relationship with the bike. Yeah, I was a fan, but there was things I didn't like. Okay. Now they fixed the things I didn't like, but I wasn't running out to buy it because I had a bike I loved. I loved. I loved. I rode it every day, winter, cold, hot. The Pan Am? Yeah, the Pan Am. I loved, I loved that bike. You know that. I love that bike. Because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. <laughs> it was a great bike until we went on that group ride. You, you don't look like you're about to cry, dude. <laughs> I'm, 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 I think I am. It's it's very, this this bike is bittersweet because it's not. Yo, RIP to the Pan Am. Oops. You, you're gonna clean that, by the way, after that. Oh, well, I didn't drop it, you did. <laughs> we got a cheers up. Uh, yeah. so, cheers to the new bike. Congratulations to you on your new bike. RIP to the old one. And um, welcome to the Low Rider S gang, man. Yep. You are now a lowrider. Yeah, I mean that was a little Is that a thing? I guess. I don't know, like it's 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 like I said, it's it's a little I, I kinda feel like there's a cloud over my head still because I, I just everything that happened with the Pan Am it's Alright, so let's just dive into that. Um I I uh arranged a group ride with all my uh well some of my subscribers. Um that was the first group ride of the season, that was last month. Was it? 15 bikes. 
yeah, it was around 15 bikes or so. You were leading. We wanted to keep it small. I mean, there was that that group ride could have been huge, but yeah. we wanted to keep it real small. Um, group ride was supposed to be from here, Jersey. We we're gonna head up to Bear Mountain, head up to a brewery, then circle back around, end up at a food truck festival, which we did. Well, I did. You didn't. Uh -oh. Ten minutes into the ride. Ten minutes. It was right before the bridge. Maybe fifteen. We hit traffic on that. <laughs> yeah, well, it, was, it was ten to fifteen minutes right we before the ride. We hit traffic on the ramp. I don't know what would happen. Yeah. So ten, 10 minutes into the ride, uh, Pablo pulls over. He goes, "Yo, your bike, your bike, your bike." Um, and he's telling me he's making gestures at Jerry. And I thought it was over. him because I had my radio going on my helmet, and I'm pointing at his bike. Yeah. And he's like, and then the whole time while I was riding behind him, like I kept hearing something, like a clacking or something. I just didn't know what it is. I knew it wasn't my bike, but I was like, I don't know what it is. Whatever, let's keep moving. So we pull over. Um, no lights. No lights. Yeah. Nothing. No. Oh, so you have no lights or nothing. Nothing until we pulled over. Like no engine lights, no check engine, no oil, no nothing until we until we pulled over. Okay. That's when it went on. Right, right. before it died. Yeah. So the engine light went on. Um. So. Yeah. It died. It died. What happened? It was, it was dead on. We thought like it was there wasn't enough oil or something like that. We were checking the oil and everything. There wasn't enough oil though. There was because we when we put it in, it actually registered more once we tipped the bike back the other way. Oh. There was enough oil in there. What happened was is there's cam the cams are on top, dual overhead cam with a chain with a tensioner on the front cylinder and the rear cylinder. The front cylinder, according to my Harley Davidson dealer, the cam tensioner completely sheared off and then the cams were like jumping the chain and all out of time and then the cam tensioner went down the front cylinder and wiped out the motor. Catastrophic engine failure. Yeah, that's uh So it was dead. That's pretty bad. It is 3200 miles completely dead. Yeah, was, it was weird, eh? Yeah. Um I've never 62 motorcycles now with this motorcycle over 35 Harley Davidsons, over 22 new Harley Davidsons. Never in my life, Harley Davidson, Suzuki, any of the brands I've had, never ever, and I've had some pretty old bikes, 60s, 70s, never have I had an engine blow up like that on me. Never ever. That was bad. I mean, and then we, we, we tried to turn it back on, and the, the more we it tried, the, yeah. it's just. Because the thing went down, it was done. It, yeah. And it was funny because that day we had, we had two old Dinas. Two, yeah, two Dinas. Uh, it, it, it was it was Leak BK Low. Oil. <laughs> shout, shout out to FXL in Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, He's like, I wasn't leaking oil, I was leaking gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it it wasn't the Dinas, man. It wasn't the Dinas. Nope. Uh, yeah. So all right. So your bike broke down. Uh, then you uh, you got towed over. And four hours later to the tow to the dealer. Yeah, it was nice. So then you, you what? You just decided you just don't want to deal with the bike because because they, they they offer you to they, they were gonna give you a brand new motor, right? Brand new engine. They offered me a brand new engine. What they said was originally, let's see what's wrong with it. And then I said, I don't want this bike anymore. I don't trust this bike. I don't. I I I, I can't. I can't have this bike because I just don't trust it. I ride. I ride in pretty sketchy areas in the morning at like four o'clock in the morning and I can't be breaking down in the middle of uh, Dirty you know, Jersey. No Newark, yeah. <laughs> and, and, I, and I got some other issues or whatever. So I, to, to be stranded like that, I don't, I had, and, and you have to understand, like when I first, we were, like when they first came out with that bike, people hated that bike, the way it looked, the way this, we were like on board. I loved, you know, I, I didn't love the look, but I liked the look, he loved the look. When I rode the bike the first time, I was in. Second time, by third time I rode it, I was in love with the bike. I was in love with my bike. I was, you know, a big proponent of the Revolution Max engine. Now you can't. I wouldn't want one if you gave it to me. I just maybe in three years if they work out all the bugs or whatever. I mean, it, I mean, all right. So here's the thing where where it all comes into play as well because it is a brand new bike, brand new motor, brand new powertrain. And the first year for things, now that's to say that, that things always go wrong with any it, type of vehicle. It, yeah, it happens. And I was the first one to be like, oh yeah, they come out with it in the road glide, I'm buying it. And not anymore. Maybe in three years. Yeah, I, years. I remember when, when you said that, I was like, eh, nah. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, 
I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm twin. You have twin. I'm a, I'm an air cooled guy. Like, yes. We're, we're when he as... said that, I agree. Because once since I've had this, I love it. I love the yeah. torque. I love the the sound. Even with stock pipes, the sound, and I love my street glide with my M8 too. I just there's the sound, nothing, yeah. nothing like, like 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 a V twin air cooled engine, and I that's that's something I. Uh, Yes, I, I'm. I'm a big fan of. Hey, I want tech and I want this. I want yes. that. I, I mean, I, I was me. I I was never uh, an advocate of. Hey, let's put liquid cooled engines in these bikes. I don't care about that. But uh, give me an air cooled engine and add some tech into it with you know digital gauge touch or whatever, yeah. touch screen all that stuff or riding modes. Also, yeah, riding modes. But yeah. when when it comes to liquid cooled, like I can't, I can't, I can care less for it. I I don't, I don't want that. I, I want. Uh, a traditional air cooled engine. To me, that's what I want. To me, that's what a Harley Davidson is. has been, yeah. is, and always will be. Um, yeah, they're, they're gonna try new things, you know, uh, and things are, they might fail or, or might succeed, but that's what I want right now. I mean, I've tried other things. I had a Buell when they first came out. I had a Buell back in 1996 when they first came out. You know, I, I was a proponent of all these bikes, everything like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy the first year of this or the first year of that, and I didn't. You know, I've buy, like I said, my 99 twin cam was the first year of the twin cam. The the 2017 was the first year of the Milwaukee. I didn't care what everybody said because it was under warranty and it was, it was, you know. And the Milwaukee is a phenomenal, phenomenal powertrain. Yes. It's great. It's yeah. it's probably one of, probably the best. I mean, I'm. Uh, it's, yeah. it's probably one of the best engines they've ever built. And a lot of people talk about yes. the Milwaukee because they're like, oh, it, it doesn't sound as good. Once you drop a torque cam, or a horsepower cam, once you do a stage two, stage three to that bike, it changes the whole dynamics of, of, of everything. It just sounds great, feels great, the power delivery is there, yes. and, and there's no comparing it to a twin cam or a, an Evo, no, 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 no. Regardless of, yes, an Evo sounds beautiful. A twin cam has its own beautiful sound as well. Um, but once you put in that torque cam into a mm -hmm. Milwaukee A, like, it's music to my ears. It's, 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 it's huge, man. I mean, like, I, I'm so glad I didn't sell my street glide either because when my bike blew up, my street glide was at the dealer on consignment and I called him up. I said, listen, take my bike off the floor, have it outside for me because I need to ride home on something. Mm. And thank God. And, 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 and it was like, I should have never put it up for sale to begin with because after riding, I got it back now and I've been riding it. I just, I just love it. When you put your street got to sale, I was like, are you sure? Yeah, it wasn't a smart move, because I was going to buy an ST or something new, but my bike's better. It's got more shit done to it, it's way... But did I tell you, though? Yeah, you said, what are you doing? I said, oh, I don't know. Because the bike has a ton of uh, ton of work done to it. You got a, it's, it's a stage four Milwaukee 8. You've done a bunch of stuff to it. It's like, you're you're not going to get what you spend for because you not never get close. what you spend, not right? Not even close. A, you got the bike feeling and looking like you want it. Mm -hmm. B, and it's like, that's, it's your favorite bike. And it's always going to be your favorite bike. Like, why are you going to sell it? I mean, it was other stuff that we spoke about, but. Yeah, the only thing I really have to do is like, I put 14 inch shapes on, they're too high. I got to change them. Yeah, I will still do a two and a one though. I'm thinking about that too. I'm going to change the exhaust out. The pipes are. Five years old now. That's what Bassani on it, man. I'm thinking Bassani mm. on here. Bassani in here as well. Mm. Stainless steel, not black. Eh, it's your bike. You do whatever you want. I don't well, know. if I get, if I could get, a, <laughs> somebody told me it came without the heat shields, but then I saw on Bassani's site that they have heat shields. As long as it has heat shields, shields I'm good. It I don't has want, heat shields. I don't want no heat, you know, without heat, heat shields. shields. It has heat shields. So I would do that through stainless. Now, so now, now, well, 60 minutes with Jerry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So you got your bike. Uh, what do you have planned for it? Put the I put the seat on already. I ordered a lay down license plate already. I ordered uh, the Harley pegs that are rounded, look like horseshoes. I forget what they're called. Endgame maybe or something like that. I I don't know the name of those. And then I ordered grips, Harley grips too, that are similar to your. I know what you're trying to talk about. What, the, the, the black from, from the Willie G collection? Mm, no, it, they're, no, they're rubber, and then they have the black uh -huh. the tips or whatever. Those are coming, everything's on backward. So, I'm waiting for that stuff to come in. I was going to go do with the um, flush mount gas cap. Yeah. So I bought that, but then it was missing a part. The piece was missing, and then when I was looking at it, I'm like, this thing's kind of 
Me, I, my wife said she likes this one better, so I love yeah, it. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I like the the stock one. Yeah. For me, it's like, I, I just look something. Yeah, so I'll leave, I'll leave It looks old school, room. I don't know. Yeah. So like I said, change of pegs. I'm thinking Bun King front and rear crash bars. Bun King, if you're listening. Yeah. Uh, maybe Bun King front and rear crash bars. Um, I ordered right now passenger pegs so my wife could just ride to see if she even wants to ride on the bike. I ordered a sissy bar. Um, I'm thinking Memphis Shades. Road Warrior with like a 13 inch because you got an 11. Memphis Shades, can we can, can we send Jerry a Road Warrior, please? Because this guy's like every day. And with the hand guards, maybe or whatever. I don't know. He, Memphis Shades, he's because <laughs> he got some like hand guards too. And then the bags, I was thinking about doing Leather Pros on the back, um, because just so you could fit, because you could fit so much more. You want to do risers too? And I want to do risers. It's a four inch riser. I'm thinking I want to do like. Five and a half pullback. So, so you basically just want to turn your bike into a marble kit bike? No, no, because I'm not changing the headlight out, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not. So it's safe to say that you're gonna do a marble kit inspired pull rider us. No, I'm doing what everybody else does. Memphis shades. You forgot that was one of the first ones with that. I'll give you a little bit of props, a little bit of credit. Right, here, here, I'll give you some little give credit. Give a fucking break. A little credit. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's Jerry's brand new 2022 Low Rider S in Gunship Gray. Um, beautiful bike. It's my bike, but okay. Uh, <laughs> like always, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. If you want to see more content like this, more transparent content like this, you're in the right place because on this channel, we keep it 100. You keep it honest at all circumstances, whether it's good or bad, you're always gonna get the truth out of this channel. So, uh, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride. And RIP to the Pan Am! <laughs> you're cleaning that up. <laughs>